Imperial Indiana's first Indian casino has opened. Four wins in South Bend drew a huge crowd on its opening day yesterday. The casino has 1,800 slot machines along with four restaurants. A negative impact is expected on Blue Chip in Michigan City, but just how much only time will tell. But last night, the amount of vehicles parked at Blue Chip was noticeably less than usual. Matt we saw his with the Pokagon Band of Potawatomi Indians. He told WSBT-TV in South Bend, that new casino has been on the drawing board for a long time. We're very patient people, so yeah, it is a dream. We knew it would be a reality. This is a significant day. We knew back in 1995, 94, that someday this would happen. We're just glad that it's finally occurred. And the tribe also has casinos in New Buffalo and two others in southwest Michigan. Well, Jack Arnaz, Executive Director of the Port County Convention and Visitors Bureau, he says Blue Chip will suffer at first, but rebound once the newness of the South Bend Casino wears off. He says the same thing happened when the casino outside New Buffalo opened about a decade ago. Sure, sure. There, there, there was an impact when the, the New Buffalo facility opened, uh, and uh, there, there's certainly an impact. I think they were bracing for it, uh, getting ready for it. Uh, Tuesday, by the way, is, is, is probably Monday and Tuesday are two slowest days anyway. The way I look at this, you got to embrace this. It's a, um, uh, well, they'll be doing a lot of marketing in the area. So they'll be, uh, our area now has uh, quite a few land-based casinos. And uh, so they'll be marketing across the country to bring people into our region. Ernest says Blue Chip just received approval from the city to double the size of its convention center, which is one of the many steps Blue Chip has taken over the years to successfully compete against increased competition.